Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 10.2. So the statement of problem is knowing that torsional spring at B is of constant K. So you can see at in this figure that there is a torsional spring at point B and having constant K and that the rigid bar AB is rigid. So this bar is a rigid bar. So determine the critical load PR. So again we have to find P critical. Whereas this problem is very easy. So uh, if you draw the free bar diagram of this, so due to this load, the the rigid bar may move either in this direction or is in this direction. So if I draw the free bar diagram of this bar, for example, if this is the bar, I am going to exaggerate it. So this is point B, clear, at point B if I remove this torsional spring, so due to this it will create a movement and this movement will be restoring movement because due to this spring it will tend to restore and due to this load it may disturb the rigid bar and there if I remove this pin support so there will be a reaction force at point B. And let this point is point A. And here at point A, we have a load P. Now you can see if you apply this force, the rigid bar may move either in this direction or in this direction, depending upon the situation. So let if it moves in this direction, so definitely with a vertical axis from point B, if I draw a vertical axis from point B, so initial position of the bar was along this axis now it have moved from this axis to a new position and let this distance is deflection or you can say anything you can say this is x or you can also say as y so and this is the theta change of this rigid bar bar with the initial axis clear so let theta be theta be the angle change of bar a b now you can see that uh, this force which is producing disturbance in the system or it is destabilizing it why because this force is now acting at this point clear and it there is a, a distance perpendicular distance so this force is producing movement and this movement is again known as destabilizing movement and this movement will be equal to p into x clear and this movement is P into X and again X is you know that this is the total length the length from here to here this length is L. So again this distance will be equal to if sine of theta is equal to perpendicular which is X divided by L. So again you have this X which is equal to L sine of theta so this destabilizing movement will be equal to p into l sine of theta now there is a spring at point b torsional spring at point b which tends to bring this system back to its original position and this restoring torque will be equal to k into theta because this this theta is the angle with the initial axis and the bar is moved or the bar new axis so it will tend to uh, bring the system to original position again if your uh, restoring movement is uh, greater than md so the system will be stable and if your destabilizing movement is greater than 
this restoring moment so system will be unstable so in order to keep the system back to its original position we can say that this restoring moment is equal to this destabilizing moment so you can put the value so k into theta will be equal to p l into sine of theta as theta is very very small so sine of theta will be equal to approximately equal to theta so you can put the value so k into theta is equal to p l into theta so from here you can get p is equal to k theta over l theta and theta theta will be cancelled so we will get this load which is also known as critical load that is maximum load this critical load will be equal to k over l so this is how we can find the critical load there is another method uh, which is you can also use that sum of all moment about point b is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise as positive so it will also give you the same p critical so let me try it as well so you can see at point b there is a moment which is this uh, restoring moment so it is clock counter clockwise so it will be positive so it will be equal to k into theta now at point b there there will be a moment due to this load p and this will be equal to p into perpendicular distance x and it is producing clockwise so it will be negative so minus p into x is equal to 0 so k into theta minus p x is l sine of theta so p l sine of theta is equal to 0 so k theta is equal to p l sine of theta and from when theta is very very small clear so sine of theta is approximately equal to theta so you can put the values so this will be equal to k into theta is equal to p l theta so from here we can say again this is the same thing p will be equal to k theta over l theta and p will be equal to k over and this p is known as critical load because this is the maximum load that can be applied and the system will be in equilibrium condition but if your p if you increase the load p and that exceed the pre p critical so the system will not uh, be able to back to its previous position or original position and system will be unstable i hope now you have a clear understanding about such type of problems. Thank you.